creating uh, polygon features. So here we have our polygon layer uh, and we want to create some polygons. So this is a, a layer here under uh, our database and we're going to put the features into that. So we we'll click there and we want to create features. The create features tool is under edit, create. I already have the tab here and we mark land cover and we're going to create some deciduous forest or mixed forest say. Let's, let's say that's mixed forest by the looks of it. Uh, ideally what we would have is, a, which we, I could have downloaded but I didn't, uh, is an, um, an infrared image that will give us a lot more information as to what the vegetation is. Uh, just a simple true color RGB, uh, not very good for vegetation mapping. The infrared allows us access to uh, a relative measure of um, the chlorophyll there and that means that we can do a much more detailed uh, vegetation map. But for now just going on sort of general feeling I'd say that's mixed forest. Let's click there and we'll call that woodland mixed. Good. And then click there and we are now going to create some features in our woodland. And to begin with I'll just create a standard uh, polygon feature and we have in similar uh, similar to the, um, uh, the the line features we have we can draw our polygons using the same basic set of tools because a polygon is just a line that defines an area um, so we can start by drawing say a straight line up there we start drawing this and then maybe we think well let's just see if we can switch to a polygon that's uh, a, um, a Bezier curve and try and draw something that's a little more sort of curvy, naturey kind of thing. Uh, use the arrow keys to move over a bit. Um, do we think that this is working out well? No, yeah, that's not too bad. And then we get to there, and then a tight curve around there. Keep that tight. We go around and we've got a nice set of features here. Okay, so we finished that. That's our woodland. It's got a straight edge there and we've got a straight line along there. And then we switch to the Bezier curve, just to be fancy. Uh, done. That was that feature. Well, okay, that's, that's uh, our woodland. But we've also got these squarey features up here, uh, buildings. So let's create uh, a squarey feature. Uh, first thing to observe here is that this is an orthorectified aerial photograph. And as we can see, uh, the, the aeroplane was somewhere over here looking on the side. So the actual footprint on the ground of this building is sort of here, not the roof. The roof is offset due to the parallax effect. So we need to map this on the ground as it is there. Um, and we're going to do that. First of all, let's recode this as a building. So we go back to our Create Features tab there. We click on that. And at the moment, the type is set to Woodland Mixed. Let's change that to Building. And so the next feature is going to be coded as a building. And that's going to be that. Now, take the long side first and then the short side. Click there and then we go down to there you can see snapping is on but there's nothing to actually snap to in this area there uh, then ah stupid me cancel let's click there straight lines that's what we want right so we click there and then down to there and then we click over sort of there that looks good yeah i think so and then to finish this off, in this corner that we can't see, uh, we move the mouse pointer up here some way and then right click, square and finish. There we go. Now, as you can see, that uh, it's, it's made that a right angle, but obviously uh, I was a little bit out there. But that's our square finish. It's, um, it's not a perfect tool, uh, reasonably okay, perhaps. We're not happy with that, it's still selected. 
we can always delete it up there. Delete. And we can have another go here. So we go down there, and then we pick a point there. We come over there, come up here somewhere where we think approximately where we think it's going to be. Right click, square, and finish. And we get our square grid. Looks a little better. It's not perfect, but a little better. Okay, so that's uh, creating polygon features in using two different tools. Uh, don't forget to save up here, not there. There, save features. Yes. And we're done.